Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another video. I'm a little bit sick right now, so that's why I sound congested. I've fallen ill. But today in this video, we're going to be testing out some Timu music gear. And I want to thank Timu for sponsoring this video. They reached out to me and they said, Hey, man, you want to give some of our music stuff a try and make a video about it? And I said, Sure, let's do it. So Timu is basically an online shopping marketplace kind of thing where you can find pretty much anything you can possibly think of at some very, very cheap prices. And you guys know I'm always on the lookout for some good cheap music gear. So today we're going to test out some of their stuff. If you are interested, there's a link in the description where you can download the Timu app and get a $100 coupon bundle. Or inside the app, you can put in this code right here. This is my code. It's a bunch of letters and numbers and such. So yeah, thanks to Timu again for sponsoring this video. And now let's check out some stuff. So essentially they hit me up and they were like, hey, Mr. Fizo guy, why don't you just pick whatever you want off the website? So I decided to grab a few different things. Some moon gels for the drums, pretty standard. Some elastic bands here. Why did I get these, you ask? These are supposed to be to fix this behind me. This cassette player needs a new belt and I figured, hey, why don't we just try to put some of these on there and see if we can fix it? This one I can't show you until later. You gotta wait for that one. This, however, I'm pretty excited about this an ocarina. Do I know how to play one? No, absolutely not, but we're gonna figure it out. It comes with a little string so you can wear it like a necklace. There's also a little piece of paper that shows you how to play it and like a bunch of songs you can play and everything. Oh, but just you wait because it gets even better. What is this little fancy little box you ask? Kazoo. Performance edition. What does that even mean? Well, let me show you. Looks like a vape, dude. But it's not just any kazoo, it's an electric kazoo. You plug this bad boy into here, and it's essentially just a little microphone that picks up the sound from the membrane here, and then I can plug this in to my audio interface and record it. <laughs> that's so fun, dude. Oh, but you guys thought that was it? You thought that's all I got? Hold on. Look at this, pretty sizable box. Wonder what's in this little case here, huh? That's right, I got a violin. So obviously it comes with a case, little cloth. I think this is supposed to be like a shoulder rest thing. Of course we have the actual violin here as well with the um, bridge thing. Then we've also got some double bow action as you can see, two bows, that's nice. Oh, what's that? Have I ever touched a violin a single day in my life? Maybe once or twice. Anyways, I'm gonna try to set this thing up. Okay, I think I've roughly figured out how to tune it. That took me forever to do. But let's grab a little bow action. So the other little package here that I got is rosin for the bow. Okay, let's see if I did this even remotely correctly. Nice, okay. Yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing, but it's pretty fun. Hopefully I can get some sort of usable sound out of this. I just noticed that they forgot to put stain on like the back part of the neck here. So it's interesting. It's kind of a cool look to it, but definitely doesn't look like that was intended. Okay, now that we've unboxed everything, which took forever because I had to figure out how to even do anything with this, we can start making some music now. I don't know where to put this though. All right, so I don't know if I said this, but what I want to do in this video here today is use all of these things that I've got to make one cool little beat, one cool little track. And the current problem that I'm facing is figuring out what kind of beat even am I going to use all of these in. I figure it's got to be something playful and upbeat, something lighthearted and, and whimsical. I don't know, let's just get some chords or something going. Maybe there? A little... All right, let's get to recording that. That was pretty whimsical. That's good. It's a little folky. It's a little country-esque, but I think I like it. All right, we got a little guitar vibe going on now. I think I'm gonna see if I can get anything in key with this ocarina. I'm not very good, <laughs> I've just realized. I think we're gonna add in the instruments that I'm not very good at, 
later on in the beat. Once we can bury them in the mix to where they're completely unrecognizable. But what I am good at, shaker. I can do that. I can shake it up. Let's get a little electric guitar lead melody going on. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. I think that should be fine. That's good. Whatever. We're not perfectionists over here. Actually, I totally am, but... Okay, we gotta try out this darn kazoo, bruh. Alright, we gotta see how this sounds recorded. <laughs> It sounds exactly how you would expect it to sound. It's just gonna sound like me talking into a kazoo. Part of the reason I even got that was because I saw a lot of people in the reviews saying that it sounds pretty good run through a bunch of effects, pedals or plugins or whatever. So maybe if we put some chorus and reverb and a bunch of stuff to make it not sound like me humming into a kazoo on it, maybe it'll sound good. I also wonder if I could just use this as a microphone. I'm curious about that. It seems like I could. Hello there. How are you inside of this little microphone or pickup or something? <laughs> that sounds hilarious, dude. That's actually kind of a cool effect. This little microphone thing is actually really cool. I could see a lot of different ways I could use this. I'm definitely gonna do some experimenting with it along with using it as an actual kazoo. Okay, well, I think I'm gonna have to try to figure out how to play this violin on here now. It takes so much of my mental energy to try to figure out how to play notes on this thing. Come on, we can get something out of this. Oh, we got something there. We got a little something, I would say. Okay, I could probably do that. I think I could do that. I'm actually really surprised that I was able to get anything half usable out of that violin. My arm kind of hurts now. I don't know why my arm hurts. Do I have violinist's elbow now? Let's record some drums. Let's go record some drums, dude. Time for some measuring. It's measuring time. This is quite the setup I got going on for the stereo overheads. 40. Not even remotely near 40. Okay. All right, so the drums have been recorded. I don't even really know if I like this beat that much anymore, but we're gonna keep pushing and see if we can make it sound actually somewhat good. Anyways, I think we need bass now. Ugh. I could maybe work. I don't know. It doesn't sound very good. I think that's the best we're gonna get out of that. It sounds so f***ing stupid. Hey, you know, we're all about the experimentation over here. All right, so at this point, we've pretty much used every item besides these. Admittedly, it's going to be a lot more of an effort than I'm willing to take on in this video to try to fix this thing. And if it doesn't work, then we're just screwed. So I think I'm just going to take one of these and just record a little, little something with it. That's what we're going to do. We're just going to do one of those. All right, ladies and gents, we have used the final Timu item in this beat here, which means that is just about going to do it for me in this video here today. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thank you again to Timu for sponsoring this video. Go check out some of the links in the description below. As always, thank you for watching. I appreciate all of you, and I will see you all next time.